Greetings, mobile delegates. I'm Ashley Esqueva, and it's time for your Mobile Nation's Monday Brief, where I bring you the best of CrackBerry, Android Central, Windows Phone Central, WebOS Nation, and the newly rebranded iMore. Uh, big stuff happening, so let's jump in. First off, a huge piece of breaking news. If you haven't heard, RIM has a new singular CEO. COO Thurston Hines has been unanimously named the new King of Waterloo, while ex-co-CEOs Jim Balsilli and Mike Lazaridis remain members of said board. Apparently, Jim and Mike felt the need to pass the baton to new leadership and felt that that time was now. So who was the recipient of Hines' first official phone call? Well, none other than our very own Crackberry Kevin, who received a call from the new CEO letting him know the coveted gig had been filled. Since the call ended, Kevin has been screaming like a 13-year-old girl at a Justin Bieber concert, and everyone's ears hurt. So thanks a lot, Thorsten. Big news this week from Apple as they announced multiple education projects at their event this past week. First, there's iBooks 2, which now includes textbook support and a slew of crazy textbooks related partnerships. People are going to be able to buy textbooks now for as little as 15 bucks. Uh, I've already finished paying thousands of dollars for heavy slews of textbooks for college, so I am furious. Apple also announced two additional products, iTunes U, which is kind of like the App Store, but for courses and lesson plans, and iBooks Author, which allows you to create your very own books. I can't wait for all of those fart iBooks to hit the App Store. Over at WebOS Nation, you'll be happy to hear that there's a new sheriff in town. No, no, Derek is still kicking rocks over there and uppercutting WebOS injustice, but HP has named a new chief strategy officer to lead the WebOS open source initiative. His name is Bill Veghati Vet, Veshta, Vegta, Vate? Okay, fine, Bill V. He's already the executive VP of HP Software, and he's actually keeping that job and doing the WebOS thing. We'll see what that means specifically for the future of WebOS, but for now, congrats on the new gig, Bill, and I hope HP gave you a fat raise. Now stop putting bloatware on all your computers. Phil and Co. over at Android Central had a very delightful hands-on video of the Acer Iconia A200 go up this past week. Now, this is a very interesting 10.1-inch tablet with a $350 price tag for the 16-gig model. So does it not suck? Well, Android Central seems to think you could do a lot worse at that price point. Touch this guy, and you get this really cool launcher. So uh, here you have a volume slider. I like that a lot, actually, because especially with tablets, it can be kind of weird reaching around and finding things. You have all these bookmark shortcuts here and very nicely done. I like how that scrolls, very cool. Even though this is a good tablet, Android Central would also like to remind you that Asus has a seven inch quad core tablet coming this year with an astonishing $250 price tag. So choose wisely or don't because anytime you buy Android, something new comes out a week later that has better specs and makes you feel bad. Well, this was a pretty interesting projection posted on Windows Phone Central last week. IHS, I Supply Mobile and Wireless Communication, predicted that Windows Phone will overtake Apple's market share by 2015. That's a pretty bold statement to make, IHS. Why make such an outlandish statement? Well, IHS says it's the sudden and prominent rise of Nokia as a major Windows Phone player. Apparently, their showing of the gorgeous Lumia 900 at CES has inspired quite a bit of confidence in Windows Phone's ability to dropkick Apple into third place. Daniel and the Windows Phone Central gang are taking this one with a grain of salt, but we're also still certain that the Lumia 900 will be making a huge splash when it arrives. That's it for your Mobile Nation's Monday Brief. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash mobile nations. Check out our network of podcasts at mobilenations.com slash shows. And you can follow me on Twitter at Ashley Esqueda. Nations, you have been briefed.